I'm hoping this little win, this little pickup, might be the start of a good week. I think I park here. So I was scrolling through my Facebook feed today and there was a church that I noticed had had like a big community sale. So they had books and crafts and all different types of things. When I saw the post, I noticed that I'd missed it and it was last weekend, but I decided that I would send them a quick Facebook message and ask if they had any leftover books. So I messaged them and said, hello, I'm wondering if you have any bulk books left over from your sale last weekend. I know I missed it. I can't believe it, you know, but if you've got anything left over, I'd be interested in buying it. So they sent me back a message almost straight away that said, We've packaged up all the really good books and we're donating them to Lifeline, which is one of the big charity shops here that do books. But then she wrote that she had a few boxes of books that were still sitting at the back door that were going to be um, discarded on Monday. And she told me that if I liked dumpster diving, <laughs> then they have a couple of dumpster bins at the back of the church and I'd be more than welcome to come through and dive through these dumpster bins and take any of the books that was in there. So guys, what have I got to lose? I'm coming out here. I'm going to get those free books that are at the back of the door and I'm going to get down and dirty in the dumpster. So I'm presuming these bags are what she was talking about. Woohoo, some records as well. I'll take those. I think those must be the dumpster bins. I've just picked up a um, Facebook marketplace with all these CDs. So that's what you can see here in my car. Not bad for some free books. I don't know what's in there, but it looks like Johnny Depp. I wonder if there's anything good in these records. <laughs> oh, I love free hauls. So I'm just going to reverse the car a little bit closer to those dumpster bins. <laughs> there's two ladies that are out standing by one of the cars. So I think I prefer to wait till they've gone. <laughs> Even though I've got it in permission here in text message to go through the, um, the dumpsters. <laughs> I feel like such a scrapper. <laughs> so I think I'd rather just wait till they've gone and then do it like more privately. <laughs> down there. Oh, here they are. Let's go see if there's any in this one. Okay, no books in that one. So I think she just meant these. Okay, so I've got a problem. I can lift this up, but if I climb in there, this is gonna shut and <laughs> I'm gonna be caged in there like an animal. <laughs> That'd make a good video, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm not seeing anything in this that I think is probably good enough that would warrant me doing that. <laughs> like I'm not that desperate. So I'm just gonna leave the books that are here in the dumpster. I'm gonna take the bags of them that were all packaged up and I'm going to take them and run. So I've just pulled up and my son is out here. Guess what I got in the car? Books. <laughs> Do you love bringing in books? Bessie. <laughs> Can you please carry some books in for me? Actually, I got CDs today. I guess so. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. <laughs> Thanks. Look at those beauties, Riley. Ooh. Look at those CDs. These actually so well. There's some good ones in there. I'm hoping they'll sell. It's a bit heavy. Yeah, that, that box is the heaviest box, so just be careful. The box is a little bit broken. I cannot wait to have a look through these. Well, this seems to be the story of my life. One minute I'm walking into a clean shed, and the next minute I'm back to having a shed with books everywhere. 
Oh my goodness, look at these piles here of unlisted inventory. I have been trying to work through this all week. I haven't actually been very well the last week, so I haven't even been out sourcing. And the shed is still full. It's crazy. Today I just went out and got a Facebook Marketplace haul. They were advertising a garage sale and I actually missed the garage sale. And so I sent them a message asking if they had any books. And she said no, but they had some CDs. And so I asked her how much for the whole lot of CDs that she had after she'd sent me a photo. And she said $50 for the lot. Anyway, there was three big boxes. Couldn't say no to $50. Now, I don't normally buy CDs. However, when you buy somebody's personal collection, um, it's very similar to buying books. If I go to somebody's house and buy a personal collection, a large haul of books, what that means is I end up getting a lot of books that are by the same author. And I get a lot of books that I'm able to bundle up. So my thought process with this lady was if she's got three boxes of CDs, it's very likely that a lot of these CDs are going to be by the same artists. And then I'll be able to bundle them up and make them into lots. And fingers crossed, I'll be able to make a little bit of money on those. So obviously I haven't been through this. I'm kind of excited to do it. I don't mind selling CDs in lots and bundles. I prefer not to sell them individually. I it's just something that I don't really want to go down that path. But anyway, for this particular haul for $50 gamble, I'm going to see what I've got, try and bulk up as many as I can, and then see how many are left over that I will have to deal with as individuals and decide whether or not I list them individually or just sell them off in another bulk lot. Okay, so this is a prime example here. Okay, so... I don't know this band, Stone Sour, but automatically on top of this box, one, two, three, four CDs by this band called Stone Sour. I've never heard of them. But that automatically tells me that the way that my brain was thinking, <laughs> that personal collection equals multiples by the same artist, I was absolutely correct. Here you go, two more on top here. Look at these ones. Camelot. Again, never heard of these artists. This is probably going to be a whole lot of music that I know nothing about. I can't see any Britney Spears or Justin Bieber in here, guys. <laughs> I don't want to get too excited going through all the CDs now because I've got a lot of books out that I need to process. So I'm going to pack these CDs into a pile because when I sort through these, I want to have a clear bench and I want to do all of them at the same time and see how many bundles I can make. That'll probably be another video for you guys showing you what's in this random CD collection that I've picked up. the ultra zone like I, it kind of looks like a fantasy thing or something I, it's a really interesting collection of music yeah, this one i'm getting excited now epica epica like, what is Epica? I don't know if it's like a grunge or a... I don't know. This, this isn't like boxes and boxes of classical music. This is like cool looking CDs. I'm hoping that I've got an absolute box of gems. Pink Floyd. Cool. This is going to be very interesting. I'm going to soon learn about a lot of CDs that I would never have known anything about. So this is going to be really interesting, actually, I think. On the box here, the lady's got CDs $2 or $12 for $15. She said nobody turned up to the garage sale. She didn't sell any of them. This box is heavy. My friend Megan loves CDs. She's going to be jealous of this haul. <laughs> Are you 
you watching, Megan? hear me sniffling and snuffling. I actually took myself to the doctor on Friday because I've been sick for the entire week and it just wasn't getting any better. We've done the COVID test and everything but I just wasn't like I just was I was thinking a cold is normally done in three days. Why am I still sick? So I went off to the uh, doctor and they've given me some antibiotics. So they kick in soon because I'm sick of sniffling and snuffling. <laughs> I think I've still got another six boxes of mailers waiting at the post office for me which is crazy because I just don't have room for them but we have to buy all our mailers here in Australia. It's a bit different to you guys like in America and stuff. I have to pay up front for them all. I have to buy them in bulk to get them discount. Like it literally costs me $600 at a time to buy bulk mailers and that's a lot of outlay money from your account but you know if I don't buy them in bulk they have to pay like an extra 20 cents per mailer where do I put them <laughs> okay. mailers are looking pretty full Oh, I bought this book yesterday. It's called The Dalton Journal. I actually didn't price it, but my maiden name is actually Dalton. I'm going to give this to my brother. I think he'll like this. <laughs> this is down here as well because I bought this for myself. Look at this beautiful book. I paid right up for it. You can see it's got a $20 sticker on it. I bought this with the intention of keeping it, not selling it. So I was quite happy to pay $20. It's actually worth about $50, but I just love Dolly Parton. And this is like a beautiful coffee table book. So that is over here as well. Now today is Sunday, but I got a little bit of a head start in the shed here yesterday afternoon. I really try not to work very much on a weekend, but... Everyone in my family is sick, so we're not been going out anywhere. We're not doing anything fun. So yesterday afternoon, I spent a few hours here in the shed and I picked some of the orders just to try and make Monday a little bit easier for me. So I might actually pack those ones up now. So when I pick the other ones that are waiting there that have sold, at least I'll have another clear bench space to put them in and half my shipping will be already done before I even start tomorrow. So bonus. Okay, now I need to show you these three sales because this type of book just absolutely blows me away. Now, I got this book free from the discards from the charity shop. This is a book on Aboriginal cave paintings. Now, I find books that are on Aboriginal topics can sell for a really good money, but this particular book, I sold this for $74.99. Now, you can see here, this is in not in very good condition. Look at this. This book is even like tattered on the corner on the actual book. That is not the dust cover. So you can see this book is in very, very average condition. So to be able to sell that for $74.99, it absolutely blows my mind. Now, here's another example. <laughs> I bought this book for 50 cents. Now, get a load of this. It is not in great condition either. It's quite dirty. You can see there's like marks around here. I'll probably give this a, a little bit more of a wipe over and see if I can make it look a little bit better. I sold this book for $101.95. I couldn't believe it when I was comping this book, um, The Complete Book of Fruit Growing in Australia. $101.95. Tell me that is not the most insane thing <laughs> that you have ever seen. Absolutely blows my mind. And another example, again, I got this book free from the charity shop that gives me all the discards. You can see it has got marks all over it. This book is in very average condition. When I saw this, I thought, okay, maybe anything around this topic might bring me some money. So <laughs> I know when I used to sell clothes, the clothes that were made out of hemp fabric used to make me quite a lot of money as well. So I thought, yep, definitely I'll be price comping this book. Well, this one is sold for $59.95. Look, even there, it's got a name inside it. It's got a mark down here. 
um yeah 59.95 so there's three books alone two of them that i got free one of them i paid 50 cents for and i've sold them for approximately 230 odd dollars whatever that adds up to be <laughs> i can show you some of these books as i'm packing them away this is a 10 pack of vintage meals and boons now i don't know if you can see they've got like old little stickers on them they've got pen that's been written on here 35 cents it doesn't seem to matter whenever i sell the vintage old mills and boon people buy them in the worst condition <laughs> it always surprises me these like old mills and boon it doesn't seem to matter the vintage ones sell for quite good money i can't remember what i've sold these for i'm a big fan of selling mills and boon the power of protein power of protein that's not going to be a big seller but it's kind of one of those bread and butter books for me Okay, Gardening Down Under, a guide to healthier soils and plants. This was only a new listing out the door very quickly. Every second week, I get like a free lot of books from one of the charity shops. I basically take all their discards every second week. And this was part of the discard pile a couple of weeks ago. Now, this is like our local supermarket. So if you're not Australian, our main supermarket chain, one of them is called Woolworths. And every now and then, Woolworths bring out these collectible cards that the kids go crazy for. Basically, you spend $30 in the shop on your groceries. They give you like one packet of cards and you have to kind of save them all up and the kids get obsessed with them. This was one of the ones they did a couple of years ago and it's just all the little collectible cards. I really didn't think anybody would still want them because the fat is kind of over. Over now but anyway I got it for free I wasn't sure how it would go I put it on there for $30 sold this is just a very cheap fiction book called birthright it's just women's fiction I probably sold it for about $15 okay this little book is called the plant paradox it didn't sell for very much money it's just a small dieting book being plant I presume it's like a vegan recipes or something so this one was also a really fast listing I only did this one a couple of days ago creating a life together and it's about eco villages and intentional communities so when i saw that one i thought it's probably quite an interesting topic like there are people who are into that kind of stuff but it's also probably quite a small niche of people who would want to be reading that so i'm actually surprised that this book sold as fast as it did just a small cooking book here by an aussie chef called carl cooks now this one is called ladro this is actually a beautiful book it's been sitting around on the shelves for quite a long time so somebody made me an offer on it i went back and forth a couple of times they got it for pretty cheap i can't remember what it is i'll have a look i'm kind of kicking myself now because my auntie actually collects them and it probably would have been nice if i'd given her this book because i'm sure she would have really liked it but anyway it's gone now this is another random book that i got for free in the hoarders haul i learn the most from the books i get in my free hauls because this is probably not a book that i would have gravitated to straight away just naturally when i'm scanning with my eyes so it is interesting what i learn from the hauls of free books you know i certainly learn which books are absolute rubbish <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there's a lot that are rubbish and there's a lot that I've learnt, listed over the years and wish that I didn't. But there's also a lot of books where I've been absolutely blown away by how much money they can sell for. Okay, this is a Sewing and Knitting by the Reader's Digest. Now, this one comes in a couple of different um, covers. This one is yellow. There is a blue version as well. And these books that are about how to, like how to sew, how to knit, those kind of books sell very well so not so much the ones that are just like knitting knitting patterns or sewing patterns i don't find those go as fast but the ones that are actually how to learn how to sew learn how to knit learn how to crochet those books can go pretty good okay this book set here horrible histories now you can see there is 20 books in here they're in immaculate condition really now you know what i have had this sitting up on my shelf four months since i moved in here this was this was in my old storage units which was over a year ago and i keep seeing it sitting up on the top of my shelf and i keep meaning to have a look at it thinking why is this not sold like i don't understand like it's a really good box and then i was thinking the other day gee i must have that box of books priced just way too high it's been sitting there for so long anyway i went to have a look and it wasn't even listed so i put it on it sold the same day <laughs> I like it blowed my mind I think this sold for $50 or something and it sold the same day can't believe it <laughs> kicking myself
this was a kind of cool sale. Now, I sold these two books to the same person. And what's interesting was I didn't even realize I had them in here as a pair. I've listed them at different times over the months or whenever it was that I listed them. And this one is called The French Dog. And this one is called The French Cat. And they're just both like pretty coffee table books. They've got really nice soft covers. And the same buyer has actually bought two of them. And <laughs> when I picked them, I didn't even know that they were like a matching pair. So, ooh investigating the unexplained three fiction books here by james patterson they're just three random thriller books by the same author okay what can i do by jane fonda this book's about climate change now three magazines called breathe i've never seen them before i got these magazines for free they sold really fast after I listed them. I can't remember what I sold them for. Over $20, I think, for three magazines. Two Japanese anime books in English language, Gatter Rock. They sold really fast, I'm going to say within a day. Six children's books, Thea Stilton. These books are a popular children's series. So I'm always looking out for the Thea Stilton or Geronimo Stilton. Okay, so this book is called Embroidery, and you can see it says a complete course in embroidery design and technique. So this goes back to what I was saying before about the how to sew, the how to crochet. This is obviously a complete course how to embroider. So that book has sold four vintage The Black Stallion books. These ones I bought at that book fair that I got thrown in on. <laughs> two Tony Ferguson weight loss cookbooks, books number one and two in the series. Another cookbook, Woman's Weekly Tie, Bradford's Crossword Solver, The Cigar Handbook. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Dirty cigars. Oh, they taste disgusting. So this bundle here is a multi-order for a customer. I've already wrapped it up. This is for individual sales going to the one buyer. They have bought How to Win Friends and Influence People, Bitter Chocolate, Don Watson's The Death Sentence and In Any Case by Andrew Fraser. This is another bundle, same thing, multi-order, four books going to the one person. Bear Skin, A Warrior's Life, which is a biography, Sleep, Bedtime Reading, and The Left-Handed History of the World. So again, a really unusual lot of books that this person has ordered okay so there's a few bags of shipping that's now been done that's going to make my job tomorrow easier only having half the amount of shipping to do i think i'll pull those books out that i just got for free have a little look at them and some of those i might even be able to just get photographed and listed today in today's lot I need to go to the grocery shop and get all my food for the week so the kids have food for school <laughs> but um i wasn't even going to vlog today it was just because i was going out to pick up those free books and i thought oh look i better turn the camera on because if i don't i might regret it because i really thought that i might be dumpster diving <laughs> Anyway, it's turned into a Sunday vlog, which I never do. Thanks so much for following along, and hopefully in the next couple of days, I don't sound so snuffly. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.